Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tara's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Virgos out there. How you doing? How you doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does and what does to leave it on out. Also, this can be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Virgo. So we're going to see what's going on with the, in the month of November here is what I'm getting, okay? Um, yeah, there is somebody saying that, Virgo, you have changed them. You changed this individual. Whoever this person is, this person, um, somebody could have had a real bad temper, an attitude, a real bad attitude that they get really defensive when you say something to them. Like it's like they have their guard up all the time. They just feel like you're attacking them. So this person would definitely react in a certain type of way, whoever this individual is, okay? This person is currently trying to recharge whoever this individual is, okay? It's, who, what about this individual, Holy Spirit? Okay, for some of y'all, it could be a Capricorn. So for some of y'all, this could be a Capricorn. That's thinking about you. There could be an age difference as well between the two of y'all. Video games as well could be significant, Virgo. Okay. Um, somebody's saying that you mean the world to them. Okay, Gemini energy. Somebody's saying that you mean the world to me. The Gemini could be a secret admirer for some of y'all. So I'm getting two energies that's going to be like trying to pull on you. Okay, pull on your energy in the month of November here, Virgo. Um, like I said, one of these people. Feel like you mean the world to them and then i see we have here new partners so for some of y'all boo you could be coming across a new partner in the month of november as well okay um we got here your mind i'm making a u-turn and will you marry me mm. so somebody else like i said this could be the person that feels like you changed them this could be a capricorn oh we got here a uh, creeping yeah this could be a capricorn and a gemini this person is currently creeping on you at this time or will be in the month of november okay um this person is going out this is outgoing and creeping so whoever this individual is they actually going out to wherever you're at or i don't know what this is baby but um yeah um this person will be going out and creeping on you in some type of way, okay? This person feels like they want to make a U-turn towards you here, Virgo. But like I said, some of you could be having someone new coming in as well, okay? Somebody likes the fact that you are able to hold your own, okay, away from this individual. They like your independence is what I'm getting. Whoever this person is, like I said, they said that you changed them, okay? Whoever this individual is. Do you have any more information about who this individual is? Okay, whoever this person is, they live in a fantasy world. So there's a person that is currently fantasizing about you. This, this person is now living in a fantasy world. They're thinking of a life in a future with you and them. Okay, for some of y'all, whoever this individual is, Virgo. Okay, um, somebody wish that they never friend zoned you. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be an Aries. Okay, somebody wish, or you friend zone somebody, but somebody wish that they never friend zoned you. And they see that you're out here getting physically fit. You're looking good. You're taking care of your body. Your body looking right. Okay, it's getting snatched. And this person's like, wow, I can't believe I friend zoned them. Now they look good. Nah, baby. Okay, because if they, didn't, they wasn't with you at your worst, baby, they can't be with you at your best, period. But like I said, some of you may be getting a new partner, straight up. But others of y'all... Virgo, there's a Queen of Cups energy, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, um, that is at a long distance from you. This person um, could be a mother figure or this could be a Scorpio with the death card being here. This person feels guilty for something. Whoever this feminine energy is, she's feel guilty, Virgo. Okay, for something that happened in the past is what I'm getting. Okay, because she's thinking about the past now of why you guys have, you know, have justice between the two of you now. Some of y'all, this person was doing magic on you when it comes to a particular offer. Okay, is what I'm getting. Because here you, here you go coming out as a queen of pentacles. Or this could be this Capricorn put a word fits. Yeah, due to some type of jealousy. Okay, with the five of wands. Okay, yeah, somebody here wanted, I don't know, they didn't want you to have something. There you go, Virgo. Okay. Why did this person, this feminine energy, this queen of cups feel guilty? It says not waiting. Poor boundaries. Okay, somebody here, you're not waiting on somebody to change. This is for some of y'all. This could be the person that was high-tempered, put it where it fits. But this person had poor boundaries here. 
And you are not waiting around for this person to change their behavior and their ways. So for some of y'all, you create a distance. And some of y'all, y'all don't even talk to the person anymore. And it's really pissed this individual off. So they decided to be sneaking behind your back, whoever this person is. But now, like I said, they trying to feel guilty for the shit that they've been doing. Okay, for some of y'all, this person tried to outcast you as well. They try to make people go against you and not fuck with you or be around you is what I'm getting. Okay, because if they didn't like you, they don't want nobody else to like you. The type of energy I'm getting here. So this person could have definitely went around here Virgo talking about you or just you know saying in the past here with the six of cups and it's like this person is reminiscing on the shit that they said about you and did towards you behind your back this is what I'm getting whoever this feminine energy may be for some of y'all okay but I see that you're going to get justice for whatever this is this meal campaign or whatever with the hermit card justice being here okay Libra energy yeah, I'm seeing that you're just walking away from this person. Okay, and you're getting your wishes fulfilled with the Nine of Cups energy. All right. Yeah, what is this? Nine of Cups, Six of, uh, six of Swords. Oh, yeah, because you're very ambitious. Whoever you are, you're very ambitious. And for some of y'all, if you're a male Virgo, it's like this person, this feminine energy was, uh, was afraid to commit to you. Okay, is what I'm getting. Maybe you guys had mutual friends and this person was definitely getting people to go against you or side with them. Okay, is what I'm getting. But some of y'all, this was all manipulative. What's the magician? Let me see. What type of magic were they doing? Spirit with the magician card being here. What is a magician? We got here creative. Mm, somebody was definitely being manipulative in a creative way is what I'm getting. Yeah, inspiring, okay? Somebody could have literally stole something from you maybe, okay? Maybe you do something very inspirational and people follow you and people like what you have to say and this person was stealing off of you. Stealing off your creative of uh, ideas or something like that. Trying to make it their own. Maybe you're being offered something, okay? And this person here was trying to steal that from you because you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy, straight up. This person was jealous of you. They was in competition with you, okay? They wanted you to walk away from something, okay? Like I said, we got the Ace of Cups. Maybe something to have to do with an Aquarius, Okay? Yeah, some of you could be this person's baby mother or something. This person could definitely be reminiscing over you. Yeah, lovers, straight up. Yeah. But this person won't change, though. They won't change. Whoever this individual, they're not changed. Okay? So this person might be coming back towards you. Like I said, we got here, I'm making a U-turn. So this person could be saying they changed or whatever like that. But they really haven't, okay? Like I said, this person's just thinking of you in a fantasy world, okay? They, they thinking of a future with you in their head or, their, or they will be doing this in the month of November. Okay, we got here, no, exactly. This person is depressed. So don't even, if this person come back saying that they changed or you changed them, you did this, you did that. This, this motherfucker lying. They're actually just grieving over you and they just missed the fuck out of you is what I'm getting, okay, Virgo? Yeah, but some of y'all know the good thing about this whole situation, but this, you know, it's, it's despite this individual, you got some type of a secret admirer that's watching. This could be this new partner that's coming in, and some of y'all, y'all got money coming in as well. Okay, I see some money coming, unexpected money coming in in the month of November as well for some of y'all. Okay, but like I said, somebody else is coming in for your secret admirer. Somebody has been watching you. I'm getting somebody wants to. Ooh, yeah, we also have here unrequited love. So for some of y'all, you got, like I said, you got two energies watching you. It could be a Gemini or a Capricorn, maybe even an Aries, okay? But some of y'all feel like the sex is not compatible or y'all not sexually, in, you know, compatible because due to the fact that maybe somebody likes a lot of partners, you don't. You don't swing that way. You don't roll that way. Okay, is what I'm getting. Yeah, and you know that this person is scared to commit, but they want a family-oriented lifestyle. Like, no, this is like... They want to have a, you know, a home with you, with the kids and, you know, the whatever, the white picket fence and shit, but they still want to go out there and do what they want to do. Okay, no, this ain't no motherfucking, what's that, um, movie with Jennifer Lopez, uh, enough, okay, enough is enough, period, all right, period. We got here, Taurus, some of y'all could be, um, dealing with a Taurus, or this is the Taurus, that's about to come towards you and like <laughs> distract you from this mess. This is what I'm getting for some of y'all or others of y'all. There is a Taurus that's coming to distract you, period. Like, I don't know. Put it where it is. Well, what about this Taurus? Or Sagittarius? Okay. Oh, yes. One of these people is a secret admirer. 
Okay, and this person is a good listener. This is the person you can confide in and talk about whatever. Okay, this person is definitely going to listen to you and also give you some type of a good advice. Okay, like I said, you can have a Taurus or a Sagittarius that could be coming in. All right, that is going to definitely listen to you. Okay, your yeah, Ace of Pentacles. What about this Taurus or the Sagittarius? Yeah, I'm seeing you because you got something to talk about. Like you could even be reflecting on something that happened in the past due to somebody else trying to manifest you back by thinking about you on a constant basis. Okay. See, people don't realize they be manifesting shit, you know, people back when they're thinking about them all the time. So if anybody popping up in your head that you have let go of a Virgo, it's because it's this past person. Okay, this past person here. They can't stop thinking about you. They're living in a fantasy world. Yeah, ten of swords. See, yeah. Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, there's some type of communication about the past here. Maybe you're just having a conversation with somebody about it or whatever. Or somebody else is doing this. Okay, this could be this past person. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Oh, so this motherfucker, this masculine is the one that's talking about you, Virgo. Because they see you in the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles energies. I told you, some of y'all got some money coming in. I got money. Money. Yeah, yeah. Okay, some of y'all got some type of abundance coming into your life. Okay? And this is really going to, like... The more this person see you prosper, the more they want to come back to you, okay? Because you know how they say a man don't want somebody that ain't really popping or they don't look good or somebody ain't looking at, okay? And this person sees how you really doing it out here, okay? This ain't no motherfucker. And it's, you're not doing it for clout or show. You really out here doing the damn thing here, Virgo. And this person just wants to come fucking back, okay? It says thinking age matters. For some of y'all, there's some type of age difference between the two of y'all, okay? Is what I'm getting. Yeah, the moon. See, somebody's secretly grieving over you. Secretly wanted to be around you again. Yeah, the world card. But that situation is over with. So, y'all, be careful. Yeah, the nine of wands. This person is... They can't stop thinking about you. Okay? It's really tripping them out. Okay? Whoever this individual is. Yeah, their emotions for you. But the nine of swords, they're so worried. Okay? This person can't even sleep at night because their demons is coming back to haunt them. Okay, whoever this individual is, okay? Yeah. But they're masking their feelings when it comes to other people. People could be asking about you too, Virgo. About, hey, what happened with so-and-so? Okay? And this person is just like stuck. They ain't got shit to say. Okay? It's what I'm getting. They asking because through the grapevine, Virgo, you doing the damn thing. Okay, period. You doing the damn thing. In the grapevine. All right. So these people here. So this person just wanted to come back. But we got here unrequited love. Some of y'all going to be dealing with a new move. Okay. You're going to deal with a new book. Period. That's what I see here in the month of November. So all right now. That's what I got for you guys. You guys need anything else for me, Virgo? Look in the description box below. Love you. See you next time. Bye.